The pound-for-pound -pound king, Terence Crawford, has just secured another victory, bringing his flawless record to an impressive 41-0. With this win, Crawford cements his legacy as a four-division world champion. Despite his dominance, social media is ablaze with criticism, questioning the conviction behind his performance and speculating about a potential showdown with Canelo. A topic for another day. Meanwhile, rumors are circulating that Crawford might retire at the peak of his career. Let's delve into the validity of these claims. In the latest bout, the WDA super welterweight title held by Uzbekistan's champion, Israel Madrimov, was on the line. The seasoned Terence Crawford, widely regarded as the best pound-for-pound -pound boxer in the world, entered the ring as the unified welterweight champion. Crawford made the strategic decision to drop down a weight class in pursuit of this new title, adding another layer of intrigue to his illustrious career. Following the thrilling upset of Jose Valenzuela against Isaac Pitbull Cruz and an energetic performance by rapper Eminem at the arena in Los Angeles, the stage was perfectly set for the evening's main event. Israel Madrimov vs. Terence Crawford. The atmosphere was electric, as fans eagerly awaited to see if Crawford could secure a new belt against the relatively inexperienced Madrimov. The grand fight everyone had come to witness began with a cautious start, as both Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov carefully measured each other during the first five rounds. Those who thought Terence Crawford would have an easy fight were proven wrong as Madrimov made great reads on Crawford's movements up to that point. There was no clear superior opponent at the start of round five. Crawford began landing more jabs to Madrimov's body, but the fight was certainly not easy for him. Crawford was finally facing a worthy opponent who forced him to flex his fighting IQ. Remember, the champ had 11 straight wins by KO, but tonight's rival seemed capable of breaking that streak. During the second half of the fight, Crawford made significant improvements, yet the bout remained tightly contested in the championship rounds. Crawford landed more direct punches, but Madrimov's resilience kept the outcome uncertain until the very end. Though Madrimov still managed to land a few solid punches, the three judges kept their scorecards close to their chests. No one envied their position at the end of the 12 rounds. This was the first time in eight years that Crawford had to go the distance to secure a victory. Ultimately, he won by unanimous decision, preserving his undefeated record and claiming the WBA light welterweight title. With this win, Crawford has now achieved championship status in four different divisions. Kudos to Madrimov for holding his own against the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Meanwhile, unconfirmed reports suggest that Terence Crawford, the four-division champion, is contemplating retirement while still at the pinnacle of his career. Rumors of Crawford's retirement are not new. Despite his impressive career, Crawford has faced criticism recently for fighting only once a year since 2020. At 36, Crawford remains in peak form and is coming off a decisive win against Israel Madrimov. That fight, expected to be closely contested, might end up being both Crawford's defining fight and possibly his last. With the planned rematch against Spence now uncertain, Crawford, who boasts a perfect record of 41-0 with 31 knockouts, does not have a clear plan for his next fight or his future in boxing. In a recent post on X, formerly Twitter, Crawford hinted at the possibility of retiring soon, stating, I might give y'all one more or not, because y'all don't know how to appreciate greatness when you see it. This comment reflects Crawford's frustration with how his achievements have been recognized. He feels that he has not always received the credit he deserves, either being overlooked or only recognized later. Despite this, Crawford is satisfied with his career and firmly believes he deserves a place in the Hall of Fame. His recent remarks underscore his sense of being undervalued by critics, even as he remains confident in his legacy and accomplishments in the sport. Could there still be more to see from Terence Crawford and his incredible skills? Has any fighter truly pushed him to his limits, forcing him to dig deep and showcase his best? So far, 
No one has managed to do that. Will such a challenge ever come? It's hard to say though there has been speculation about a potential showdown between Crawford and Canelo Alvarez. As the reigning king of the 168-pound division, a fight between Terence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez would be a dream match for many boxing fans. However, Crawford seems uncertain about his future. He just turned down a fight with rising star Jaron Boots Ennis, dismissed Tufimo Lopez's recent cutout, and it remains unclear if he's still interested in a bout with Jermel Charlo. If Crawford were to retire now, it would be a disappointment to many fans who want to see him pursue greatness in a fight with Canelo. Although Crawford has downplayed Ennis as not being on his level, a match against the young and unbeaten contender, now a title holder, would be an exciting event that many would eagerly watch. Ultimately, the decision rests with Crawford. Very few great fighters have managed to retire undefeated and on their own terms. If Crawford were to join the rare group of champions who left the sport at the peak of their careers, like Rocky Marciano, Floyd Mayweather, Andrew Ward, and Ricardo Lopes, it would be a remarkable feat. Crawford's recent comment, and might give you all one more, leads us wondering if he will indeed return for one final fight. If he does, the big question remains, who will be his opponent? Ryan Garcia has been very vocal on social media after the fight, saying Canelo would wipe the floor with Crawford. Crawford is trash. Don't ever compare Crawford to Canelo again. Shout out to young Triple G, he did his thing. This adds fuel to the speculation and excitement around Crawford's next move. Should he choose to continue his illustrious career? I felt he won or at least earned a draw. Judges, your decisions were questionable. Crawford, I don't see you as pound-for-pound pound material. You haven't faced many tough opponents. You fought Spence, who was coming off a car accident. Don't forget about the Canelo fight, Terence. Crawford should stay at 154 and focus on fighting top contenders like Virgil Ortiz and Tim Tseu. A matchup with Jaron Ennis at 147 also makes sense. This recent fight against Israel Madrimov showed that Crawford, despite his incredible skill, might struggle against bigger opponents. Madrimov's strength and durability exposed some vulnerabilities that Canelo could exploit, potentially making that fight one-sided. Crawford's power didn't translate well into the higher weight class, and he was noticeably outmuscled by Madrimov. This fight should put an end to any Canelo discussions and redirect attention to more fitting challenges. A fight against Jermel Charlo would be a solid matchup for Crawford. It's clear that while Crawford is an exceptional fighter, moving up to face Canelo, who has excelled in multiple weight classes, would be a significant mismatch.